Hi everyone, welcome back to Tiny Mike Interviews at DEF CON 31. I am here at the Scavenger Hunt Contest with Zora. Yes. I and know. I think that the Scavenger Hunt is one of the most interesting parts of DEF CON, besides everyone. It is so chaotic. It's entirely chaotic. It is the definition of DEF CON chaos. Yes. Um, and I feel like there needs to be more features on it, hence why I'm here. <laughs> Tell me about the scavenger hunt. Obviously, oh the scavenger gosh. hunt, but tell me about it. Okay, so this is our 26th year. Here 26? At yes, we are 26 years old. Oh my god. Yes, uh, we are one of the longest running contests here at DEF CON. Uh, we are what we call, we keep the shenanigans alive. We keep DEF CON weird. Um, that, is the, that is the embodiment of what we try to do and, 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 and keep that side of the culture of DEF CON alive. So, in the 26 years, um, there's been a lot of ideas and weirdness that's happened. Yes. I mean, if you're not here right now, the booth is probably one of the most interesting booths <laughs> in the room. Uh, but I would love to know, this year, what is your favorite item on the scavenger oh hunt list? Oh my gosh. So this year, we have quite a few uh, items interacting with as many of the contests as we possibly could do this year. Okay. Um, so... Honestly, I hate to say I haven't had a chance to go through the finalized list. Oh my god! Because it has been absolutely chaotic here behind our table. So we got our list printed and we just threw it out to the people. Oh I god. actually haven't had my chance to look at my items, um, but I do know that we have a lot dealing with people and a lot dealing with the contest this year. So I'm hoping things will be really uh, quiet. So then, maybe in past years, which one's been your favorite? Oh gosh. That is, oh, that's Keep so in mind that the scavenger hunt is also, like, low-key. It's not PG. No. It's not it PG. It's not Just PG. We have toned it down a little bit over the years. We try to be a little more friendly, a little more, you know, uh, you know. Um, when I played back in 2020, 20 DEF CON 20 was my first year. My and I played as a solo player team. Um, and... Honestly, at the time, my favorite items were group items because it was like your entire group in this pool or your entire group hugging goons. I was like, great, it's just, just me. me. It works out. Um, I love the items where it's really left up to interpretation. So one of the items that I really found hilarious was bare breasts. I know we said it's not PG. Bare breasts was really hilarious because it turned in boneless chicken skinless. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you say bare breast, you mean chicken breast. We weren't species specific and we weren't gender specific. So Absolutely. a lot of guys also came up to the table and just flash judges. Wow. Yeah. I love DEF CON. Yeah, so. <laughs> I love DEF CON. Yeah. What's the highest score you've ever seen? Oh, God. I don't even know. What is the highest score? I mean, I know there's only one team in history that has come close to completing the list. Wow. There was only one item that they could not get, and it was because it was actually illegal to bring into the U.S. You couldn't get it at the time. Um, but that team are now judges. Oh and my god! This thing. Um, so, but the highest score we only have a certain amount of points. So we only go uh, one, two, three, four, five, and the highest item that we have is ten points. So like last year's ten point item was uh, bounce a meme off the moon. So I mean. We didn't think this one through when we th we were thinking using ham radio and things like that. Like then we had somebody, yeah, we had somebody with a picture of a moon, and then they mooned the chill out lounge and they threw the phone at their behind, and it did count. It absolutely did count. I love the fact that just there's so many different ways to interpret the items, yeah. and that's what makes the scavenger yes. so awesome. It's just the insane interpretations you'll get. Yeah. So. Uh, for the people at home who are watching about DEF CON <laughs> remotely, what do you want them to know? Um, this is, if you've never done DEF CON before, this is what you do your first DEF CON. Um, it's entry level. You don't have to have a lot of experience. Like I mentioned earlier, my first DEF CON, I came in as a single player team and I placed fourth starting a day late. I started late Saturday afternoon. I competed against teams of five and I still That's insane. made it up there. And now I'm running the contest. Um, people who come and play our contest, they go on to do so many other things with the con. They become goons. They become event organizers. 
if you come here and you play this game, you're going to make a name for yourself. Either way, people are going to know you. You're going to get to meet people. You're going to get to experience every bit of DEF CON because as we try to do, we try to involve contests and villages and people and everything like that. So if it's your first DEF CON, come do this. Don't be afraid to do it. We're not that mean. That's We're not so that awesome. scary. <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much yes. for sharing your stories with thank us. You. This is awesome. Yes, thank you for being um, here. So uh, next year, or if you're here now, mm -hmm. come check it out. Yes. Scavenge around in the contest room. Um, We're in the far corner. You can't miss us, though. You cannot miss this place. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much yes, for this. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Yes.